Tryna run it up. I wake up. Yeah. I wake up. Flex. I'm down that check. No drip. This. Wet. Tell him run it up. No sleep. No rest. Might crash. Might wreck. But first die. Stretch. Tell him run it up. I wake up. Flex. I'm down that check. No drip. This. Wet. Tell him run it up. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first die. Stretch. Tell him run it up. What's going on everybody? This is Lag on Lock here and welcome to the Florida Atlantic Owls Dynasty here on NCAA 10 for the PSP. Now I normally play NCAA 07 for the PSP because it has better graphics and a much better gameplay than the later games, but there has been a mod added to NCAA 10 for the PSP. So the name of this mod is NCAA Next Portable, which is a direct port of NCAA 06 Next for the PS2. In this mod, we have UI changes, updated uniforms, the 2021 rosters, and we also have Coastal. Coastal is now in the game. Thank you, Sean Customs, for porting this mod. This is giving me a reason to jump back into NCAA 10 for the PSP. I really do appreciate it, and I look forward to the later versions of this mod. So guys, like I said in the beginning, we'll be playing with the Florida Atlantic Owls who are in the Sunbelt Conference, and their record in 08 was seven and six. Not bad, they were bowl eligible. But I know as of 2022, they are in the CUSA. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, guys, we're going to take a look at the preseason polls to start off this dynasty. And we are ranked number 66 in the nation. We have a C plus overall, a C offense uh, that needs to be improved, a B defense. That is really good. I love playing defense and we have a B special teams unit. Next, we're going to take a look at the conference outlook and we are number one in the Sun Belt, a great spot to be in to start off this dynasty. At number two, we have the Troy Trojans. At number three, we have the Arkansas State Red Wolves. At number four, we have the Mid-Tennessee State Blue Raiders. At number five, we have the UL Monroe Warhawks. At number six, we have the North Texas Mean Green. At number seven, we have the UL Lafayette Raging Cajuns. At number eight, we have our rival, the FIU Golden Panthers. And last, we have the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. So there's no conference championship in the Sun Belt. It's just whoever has the best record will win the Sun Belt Trophy. So now, guys, we're going to take a look at the preseason Heisman watch. At number one, we have number eight, Carlos Del Rio, the freshman quarterback out of Florida. At number two, we have number 19, Ralph Rucker, the freshman quarterback out of Oklahoma. At number three, we have number 18, Ovi Og Hufo. I think that's how you pronounce his name. The junior red shirt right in out of Texas. At number four, we have number 72, McCade Matur. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He is a junior right guard out of Cal. At last, we have number five, Tyreek Castro, the senior cornerback out of Penn State. So now guys, we're gonna take a look at our roster for this year. Looking at the quarterback position, we have number seven, Nikoshi Perry. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's a senior red shirt. He has a 76 overall. Next, we have number 12, Michael Johnson, who is a freshman red shirt. This is really good. He has a 74 overall, 85 speed as well. At halfback, we have number five, Johnny Ford, the sophomore red shirt. He is on the Sunbelt first team and he has an 80 overall. Looking at our wide receiver core, we have number 83, LeJonte Wester, the freshman wide receiver. He is on the Sun Belt second team, and he has a 78 overall. Next up, we have number 89, Brandon Robinson, the junior redshirt. He has a 78 overall. Next, we have number 8, TJ Chase, the senior redshirt. He has a 78 overall as well. And last, we have number 19, Willie Wright, the senior wide receiver. He has a 78 overall, and he's also on the Sun Belt second team. At tight end, we have number 85, John Mitchell, the senior redshirt, who has a 76 overall. Looking at our offensive line, we have number 75, Marquise Robinson, the sophomore redshirt left tackle. He is on the Sun Belt first team, and he has a 76 overall. At right tackle, we have number 74, Chaz Neal, the junior redshirt. He's on the Sun Belt second team, and he has a 74 overall. At left guard, we have number 53, Desmond Noel, the senior red shirt. He has an 80 overall. And at right guard, we have number 79, Kamar Bell, the freshman red shirt. He has a 74 overall. At center, we have our first impact player, number 63, Nick Weber, the junior red shirt. He has an 84 overall. Moving over to our defense, we have number 50, Jalen Joyner, the sophomore red shirt right in. He has an 82 overall. 
At left end, we have number 92, Marcel Southall, the sophomore redshirt. He has a 74 overall. Take a look at this, guys. We have number 97, Jaden Wheeler, who is a freshman left in. I am going to redshirt this guy because he has a lot of potential being a 74. Looking at our defensive tackles, we have number A, Evan Anderson, who is a freshman. He has an 80 overall. Our next defensive tackle, we have number 96, Latrell Jean, the freshman redshirt. He has a 72 overall. I'm going to be redshirting number 90, Hawthorne, because he is a freshman, but he has a 70 overall, so a lot of potential there. At outside linebacker, we have number seven, Chase Lasatter, the junior redshirt right outside linebacker. He has an 80 overall. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Our other right outside linebacker is number 49, Chris Jones, who is a freshman. He has a 72 overall. At left outside linebacker, we have number 51, Courtney McBridge, who is a freshman as well. He has a 72 overall. Such young talent at FAU. We have five freshmen outside linebackers and one junior outside linebacker. At middle linebacker, we have number one, Antarius Moultrie. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's a freshman red shirt, middle linebacker, and he has a 78 overall. Next up, we have number nine, Bryce, the senior middle linebacker. He has a 78 overall. Looking at our cornerbacks, we have number 24, Zion Gilbert, who is a senior. He has an 82 overall, but look at that speed, 95. That's crazy. Next, we have number 12, Dyshawn Moss, who is a senior as well. He has a 76 overall. Next, we have number 20, Romaine Mudgeon. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He is a sophomore. He has a 72 overall. And last, we have number 14, Ashton McNeil, who is a senior. He has a 72 overall. So I already know right off the bat, I need to work on my cornerbacks. At free safety, we have number 35, Jordan Helm, the senior redshirt. He has an 80 overall. At strong safety, we have number 29, Correll Smith, the senior red shirt. He has a 78 overall. And next to him, we have number five, Amon Ross, the junior red shirt. He has a 78 overall as well. At kicker, we have number 46, Aaron. I'm not going to try to pronounce the last name. He is a junior red shirt. He is on the Sun Belt second team. He has a 72 overall, and he's also an impact player. But I think that's going to change because normally kickers, they don't get much action as opposed to offensive and defensive players. So, you know, it's going to be short lived. And last at punter, we have number 15, Matt Hayball. <laughs> he is a sophomore red shirt. He's on the Sun Belt second team and he has an 82 overall. So overall, guys, we have 26 freshmen, 16 sophomores, nine juniors and 18 seniors. So those 26 freshmen will pave the way for our team to be better down the road throughout this dynasty. It kind of sucks because we're a little bit an above average team, but my main focus is to make it to a bowl game just because we don't have any conference championships to worry about. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna do well compared to those other teams in our conference. So guys, looking at the team needs for this year, I only have three available scholarships to give. I need two fullbacks, one tight end, one defensive end, one middle linebacker and one cornerback. I'm definitely gonna go after a fullback and a tight end. And for the last scholarship, I'm gonna look for maybe a cornerback, maybe a defensive end. It all depends, but you'll see later throughout this dynasty. So next up guys, we're gonna take a look at the weekly schedule for this year. And in week one, we hit the ground running against a tough opponent, the number 21 team in the nation, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. In week two, we are at home to face the USF Bulls. In week three, we're heading to South Carolina to take on the Gamecocks. In week four, we start our first conference play in Fort Lauderdale, Florida against the Warhawks. Week five, we play the Wyoming Cowboys. We do have a bye week in week six, but in week seven, we play the North Texas Mean Green to continue conference play. Week nine, we are back at home to face the Mid-Tennessee State Blue Raiders. We do have a bye week in week 10, but we continue conference play against the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Week 12, we are heading to Alabama to face the Troy Trojans. Week 13, we are facing the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. And to finish the regular season, we are facing our rival, the FIU Golden Panthers in Miami. So now guys, we're gonna take a look at the coach report card. Now I do go over this every seven weeks or so, just to give you guys a quick update on how well I'm doing throughout the dynasty. Congratulations on being appointed the new coach at FAU. Um, our average attendance is 9,182, which is not that good and nothing to brag about, but you know, we're a small school. We don't really have the prestige like for say Alabama or Ohio State. 
So we do have a three year contract with FAU and I plan to extend. That's only if we do well throughout this dynasty and the university will extend our contract. Our team goals for this year is to beat FIU, which we do play at the end of the regular season. Receive a bowl bid, which I know we can do. We only have to win six games out of our whole schedule and to beat a five or six prestige team. The only team we have in our schedule to beat is Nebraska. So we can probably complete two out of the three uh, goals for this year. Next up, guys, we're going to take a look at the coaching strategy. We are playing with the Florida Atlantic playbook. Our offensive type is West Coast. When it comes to our offensive tendency, it's about half and half with 48% running and 52% passing. Not much of a difference. And our overall strategy, we tend to be aggressive on offense. Looking at our defensive strategy, we are running with the 4-3 defense, which is pretty good. And our defensive tendency is tailored toward stopping passing plays with 57%, and we do have running plays at 43%. And like our offensive overall strategy, we tend to be aggressive. Looking at the gameplay settings, we will be running with five minute quarters. The skill level will be on Heisman, play clock will be on, game fatigue will be on, injuries will be on, and home field advantage will be on. So in the next video, guys, we'll be taking on the number 21 Nebraska Cornhuskers. They have a B minus overall, a C offense, and a B plus defense. So this should be exciting. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you like what you see and you would like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.